My name is Carol Martin, and it's my good fortune to be here hosting this evening. Um, and a, a few things, uh, if I may, as we prepare to move into the main, main part of the discussion. So first, we want to be sure to thank you for your attendance and um, finding time to listen and learn as we address some very, very important issues tonight. We would also like to thank uh, our sponsors, and if you turn to your program, you will see uh, that there are many generous sponsors, some, those that are reflected up here on the screen but are also in your program. We want to make sure that you're aware tonight's event is being filmed, and um, when we get to the question and answer period, we'll be filming this the people who are responding to your inquiries, but we will not be filming you, though your voice will certainly be captured as you um, pose your question. We would also like to suggest no flash photos and invite you to turn your cell phones off, if you will. And I'll give you a moment to do that. The Immigrant Legal Advocacy Project Maine Wabanaki Reach, the Maine Wabanaki State Child Fair Truth and Welfare Truth and Reconcilia Reconciliation Commission, and United to End Genocide have joined together to create an evening designed to move the people of Maine to take action against genocide. Our three speakers. Tom Andrews, Monique Mutumwinka, and Maria Girard will each address the difficult topic of genocide from their personal perspectives. Tom will discuss genocide abroad and why it matters to Mainers. Monique will be speaking about what it meant to flee her life in Rwanda to seek asylum in the United States. And Maria will help us understand the impact of the genocide of Maine's own native people, the Wabanaki, right here in the state that many of us call home. To better orient you to the scope of what this powerful world can mean, I would like to, you to read to you the United Nations' famous definition of the term. Sadly, all of our speakers can point to many ways in which the genocides that form the heart of their talks match the elements of the definition point by point. In 1948, the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide developed the following. The contracting parties confirm that genocide, whether committed in times of peace or in time of war, is a crime under international law which they undertake to prevent and to punish. In the present convention, genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethical, racial, or religious group as such killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, imposing measures intended to prevent births from within the group, forcibly transferring children of the group to another group, Yet Tom, Monique, and Maria are also people who are finding ways to act against genocide, and tonight they will encourage you to dig deep within yourselves to discover ways to combat genocide, educate yourselves, and take a stand for those suffering its impact both abroad and right here. We have tables staffed with volunteers who can help you identify just such an opportunity. And to remind ourselves of the power of the human spirit, we offer as interludes of poetry and song. 
We hope you've already glimpsed the art and met the artists outside and want to remind you that tables selling the books of painter Robert Shetterly and poet Miku Paul will still be there at the end of our evening together. Finally, for some of you, this information that you are about to hear and witness may call up some strong feelings. For some of you, the information you're about to hear may be new and difficult to fathom. We have in the audience tonight members of the Justice in the Body uh, dressed in black shirts or tunics with the Justice in the Body logo to provide reassurance to you or to escort you to a place to gather yourself outside of this hall. Justice in the Body is a Portland-based, socially responsible education, training, and movement center devoted to integrating well-being, love, justice, and liberation with individuals, groups, and social movements. Again, I want to thank you for attending, and thank you for being attentive to the issues that our speakers are raising tonight as we try to envision and shape a new way to feel and think about genocide here in Maine.